Hey there, how's it going everybody? Just want to share this with you. I've shown you in the past my countertop mega home water distiller that I use to distill all my drinking water. I really like this machine, it's quite the workhorse. But something that I've failed to mention in the past, and surprisingly I haven't seen anyone else talking about this, is this machine's ability to produce quite a bit of heat. In the summertime I actually run this machine outside of my kitchen because it will actually add so much heat to the room. So there's a fan on the top of this unit that is blowing off all the hot air that's coming from the coils which are getting full of the boiling water that comes from the vessel and it's actually producing quite a bit of heat in this kitchen area which is 250 square feet. You can see when I shine in my infrared thermometer down there we've got 115, 116 degrees and that's all being blown out by that fan into the room. It's really a noticeable difference in temperature change when you go from room to room. I don't have this area sealed off or anything like that so there's actually airflow coming through. But this got me thinking you know, if you had a small square footage home, like a tiny home or an RV, and you have access to 550 watts of power, which is how much this unit uses, you could easily get two uses out of this product, one being a water distiller and two being a space heater. Even the outside of the vessel is radiating heat at about 85 degrees. And your typical space heater runs at somewhere around like 1100 watts. This machine 550 watts, so you're half the wattage. It's not blowing out that hot air. It's not gonna heat up a room as adequately as a space heater, of course, but it does really do quite a bit. And if you had a sealed off area, even more so. I'm contemplating moving this over to my indoor grow area where I start all my vegetable seedlings and whatnot as another way to just add some ambient heat to that area. So it takes about five to six hours for it to cycle through and make one gallon of water. I like to use these half gallon jars to store my water. Another important thing though that I should mention about this machine, especially if you were to use it in a small area, is that it is quite loud. It puts off quite a bit of white noise, so. But there are definitely more than one use for this machine. I just wanted to put this out there for folks who are tuning in. And with that, I hope this video finds you and finds you well. Take care everybody, I'll be talking to you again soon.